Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on algebraic fractions. This is the fourth video on the topic and we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting algebraic fractions in this video. So in this first example we have to write 2 over x plus 2 uh, plus 3 over 2x plus 1 as a single fraction. So the rule is we need to get a common denominator and to get a common denominator we have to multiply each individual fraction uh, by the denominator of the other fraction. So that's the top and the bottom. Uh, so this is going to give us 2 times 2x plus 1 over x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. So that's our first fraction on the left uh, multiplied top and bottom by 2x plus 1. And then we're adding 3 times x plus 2 over 2x plus 1 times x plus 2. Uh, so uh, these are our two fractions. We have a common denominator now of x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. So we can just add the numerators together. Uh, so we've got 2 times 2x plus 1 plus 3 times x plus 2. And we're dividing that by x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. So this first line will simplify to 4x plus 2 plus 3x plus 6. So I've just expanded the single brackets there. And we're dividing that by x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. Uh, so uh, this numerator simplifies if we collect like terms to 7x plus 8. And so we get 7x plus 8 divided by x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. So if we just uh, recap the steps here, we get a common denominator by multiplying the numerator and the denominator of each fraction by the opposite denominator. Uh, so that's what we did in this first step and then we just expanded the brackets that we were, we were left with uh, so we ended up with 4x plus 2 plus 3x plus 6 when we expanded the brackets on the numerator and then we just collected like terms in this last step to get 7x plus 8 over x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. Algebraic fractions are a topic that come up all the time in GCSE maths so if you want to get some practice in before your actual exam you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform and if you take the test you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So it's a really good way of finding out where you're going wrong so you can improve for your actual exam. So if you're interested you can click the link below and it will take you straight there. 